new images of last week's crackdown in Kiev. Shots aimed at unarmed civilians, dozens of lives lost, and the killings led to the downfall of a president. Now Viktor Yanukovych, who's on the run, with latest reports saying he was last seen in Crimea, is wanted for mass murder. Ukraine's acting interior minister, in a posting on Facebook, says Yanukovych and others should face justice for ordering the killing of civilians. And one far-right opposition leader is claiming Russia may be about to take military action against Ukraine as part of an attempt to rescue the former president. We have information that a number of Russian military ships have arrived in Sevastopol with Russian Marines on board. The Russian Federation has begun to react aggressively to the situation in Ukraine and it could initiate a military intervention against us. It's also possible that the ships are here to evacuate former President Yanukovych and take him under its care. The sweeping changes that followed the violence have left a security void. Self-defense units who had defended Independence Square are attempting to fill that void with work that includes guarding public buildings. It may look normal like the center of any major European city, but this is the capital of a country that has no functioning police force. These people refuse to remove their barriers and they insist that the only way forward is the use of a network of self-defense groups. This is the commander of one group. He says, for now, they're managing well. There is no problem at all. Look around you. Is there something on fire? Is there any danger for our citizens? His car is from a compound full of new, unregistered SUVs and limousines, thought to have been owned by one of Yanukovych's two sons. Watching them is an interior ministry official, trying to work out an integration plan for the police to work alongside former protesters. But after all the violence, the police fear reprisals. We are trying to protect them. They're also citizens and they need to do their normal work and they shouldn't be afraid. While the pace of political change in Ukraine is fast, the start of its new system of policing will be much slower. And the people of Independence Square are in no mood to hand over full control. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Kiev.